before we start this animation, I would love to say that I thank Dashlane for sponsoring this video. Now, I have some scary things to tell you. According to the analysts, 620 million online accounts are up for sale on the dark web by hackers. That means our information is floating around in the dark web. And we don't want to be on that list, right? Dashlane, the ultimate fantastic password and identity manager program. I have been using this app for several months, and there are some reasons why I recommend it. Dashlane stores all of my thousands of passwords securely and perfectly by strong combination of several codes. I mean literally crazy strongly, even my credit and debit card details. Once you remember your master password, everything is kept safe. Not even Dashlane knows your master password, so even if they get hacked, still your passwords are totally safe. Dashlane recognizes you logging into something, and it just instantly fills in your login details automatically, which makes everything more efficient that way. Over 11 million users in 180 countries already prove itself worthy. One more amazing point is Basic Dashlane is completely free to use and install. Also, if you want to get a free trial of Dashlane Premium, go to dashlane.com slash wanc. Experience the convenience and perfection of this app. When I was about nine years old, I was in my swimsuit, ready to go to swimming lessons. My brother and I had made a pillow fort, and it was still there from the night before. I had crawled underneath the coffee table, where a blanket went over it, blocking out the outside world. I have no idea why I stuck my foot outside of the blanket, but I did. A dark black sock crawled creepily towards my foot and slowly slid over it. The sock was cold and I felt odd. I recognized the sock. It looked just like the one my mom had. I called out my mom's name and my brother's name, but there was no response, only silence. I walked to the window, but when I looked out, there was nothing out of the ordinary. I saw my cat staring at me with a weird look on her face. Then, I was horrified when I heard the shower running upstairs. My mom was still in the shower and my dad was at work. I ran up the stairs to find my brother spinning on the chair in my parents' room. I asked him if he went downstairs, and he told me he had nothing to do with the situation. I told my mom what had happened, but she didn't believe me. She said that I was probably hallucinating and that it was just the cat. But I know what I saw, and the look on my cat's face is still fresh in my memory.